In today's video, I'm going to show you the secret to improving your running stick in Madden. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. My YouTube channel is called Madden 21 Tips and Tricks and the reason we're called that is because my entire goal is to help you get better at Madden. Everything that I do points back to that goal and so that's why we have the Discord, that's why we have our streams, that's why we have these videos because what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to help you improve your game so that you can be more effective in Madden. And if that interests you, what I want to encourage you to do is below in the description there is a link to join a discord that discord is kind of the hub of my channel it's the place where you can get the most up-to-date videos but it's also a place where you can get your questions answered and if you have any questions in Madden at all you can always text me my number is in the top left of the screen all right let's talk about running the ball so we're just going to use it doesn't matter what run right it, it, it and this is a universal tip this applies to every single run that you'll ever run in Madden and all I'm going to do is I'm just going to come out in single back bunch. And all I'm going to do is as soon as I take the snap, as soon as I take the ball, I am going to, you can see the controller cam here. You see my left trigger is lighting up. Literally, I'm just going to hold left trigger. And what it's going to allow me to do is it's going to allow me to get instant control over the running back. Now, this you see here, I've got the controller cam up. My left joystick is very, very sensitive. My right joystick is very, very sensitive. Those buttons this year are so sensitive, it makes such a difference. And so whenever you're running the ball, you want to really learn how to master that left trigger and then holding this left joystick to whichever side that you want it to go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a slight movement to the to the right. And as you see here, it's going to change the way the running back cuts. He's going to cut sharper. He's going to, and then there's also something that you can do where he's going to cut a little bit more elongated. So let me show you an example right here. If I go in here and I just hold turbo, I can't move him, right? I can't move him. What I want to do is I want to hold turbo after I've made the cut. I'm thinking of Mike Shanahan, we talked about having a one cut system. You're either going to go outside or you're going to cut it straight up. That's one simple tip that you can use this for. So think of it like this. You're going to get one cut. You're going to either get a cut to the outside or you're going to get a cut to the middle. So when I get this pitch out here, I'm going to hold left trigger. I'm going to cut, cut, and then I'm going to turn it right up. That left trigger, holding that left trigger, it's the precision modifier. And what that's going to do for your offense is it's, it's truly going to change everything about how you do it because the game reacts significantly different. Let me grab a different running play here. But the game reacts very, very different to when you have that, that button pressed. And so honestly, guys, if you use that left trigger, and one of the things I want you to master is when you, when you do it, when you do it, you want to not hold turbo until you're through to your cut. So once you've figured out where you're going to go, that's when you hit turbo. Too many people that I coach, too many people that I talk to and Madden, they are like me and how I used to be. And I've had to grow in this a lot this season. And really every year it's the same. But you don't want to hit you don't want to hold turbo because once you hold turbo, their blockers are going to block shot. You only want to hold turbo once you're actually through or once you've actually made a decision on where you're going to run. So again, holding that left trigger, slight movements of that stick, very, very slight movements of that left joystick. That's going to make all of the difference in the world for you as you are running the ball. Because what's going to happen is the defenders are going to defend a little bit differently depending on. So again, snap of the ball. And again, I'm just going to hold left trigger and then I'm going to just steer him very, very slight movements with this left joystick. It's very, very slight. You see here, this is a hard movement right here. This is slight. This is like gentle. It's literally kind of like an art form. It's like, you know, I think of what I think of is like Le'Veon Bell. If you imagine the way Le'Veon Bell would run the ball when he was on the Steelers, you saw this very, very almost artistic style of running. That's how Madden 20 really is. And that's honestly, I believe it's going to be even more important in Madden 21 because that steering of the joystick really does make a difference in where you go. What most people do is they get the ball and they hold turbo and then they just go. Well, that's, you're not going to be able to cut. You're not going to be able to move your player in a way that is effective. So what you want to do is you want to hold left trigger and then you just want to kind of steer him slightly, 
the slight movements make the biggest difference. You don't want to be very exaggerated. You want to do this in all areas of Madden, not just running, but this is a quick tip that is going to help you guys take your game to the next level with running the ball. If you guys enjoyed this video, there's some other ones that are about to pop up on your screen. But what I want to tell you before we take off is I actually wrote a book that is entirely designed to help you get better at Madden. It's called my Madden 20 Competitor's Guide. And we've also given you a free update voucher for Madden 21. What that basically means is it's a guide that is based on Madden 20. But when Madden 21 comes out, we're going to release a 2.0 version of that guide for Madden 21 specifically. That way you can have setups and place and schemes that work both in Madden 20 and in Madden 21. So if you want to pick that up, you can. A link to it is in the description below. It's going to take you right to check out. It's a full offense and a full defensive scheme. I think right now the guide, if you put it all together, is over 70 pages of Madden content with over, I think, 10 hours of footage just on defense and offense alone. Doesn't count the film studies and all of the other things that we've done within those to make those successful. So uh, we've gotten a ton of great reviews on that. And I would encourage you, if you're looking to make a little bit more money before the end of Madden 20 in some tournaments, and you also want to have a really, really good guide for Madden 21 for the launch, pick this guide up. You won't regret it. Like I said, we update it every single week, and we're going to be updating it as soon as Madden 21 comes out so that you can have Madden 21 specific tips, strategies, and schemes. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you guys in Discord.